Hey, hello everyone, Arun Kumar Bethi uh, back again with the new recruitment stuff. Okay, today we are going to talk about three basic things which a recruiter needs to do before uh, doing a call. The first thing is that research and analyze and finalize. Let's break it down uh, these three things into parts. Okay, the first thing is that research. See, first of all, uh, <clears throat> whenever you are working on a requirement, whenever you get a requirement from your team lead or an account manager, always research the job description. Always have a clear and crystal understanding a view of your job description. See, whenever I say clear and crystal understanding is that you should have a little bit knowledge of the requirement which you are working on see suppose <clears throat> there is a requirement called hadoop see if you don't know what is hadoop how you gonna talk to a candidate who is a hadoop developer see you try to go to google and and search for the uh, keyword just type hadoop you will get to know what is Hadoop, what are the associated things, what are the associated skills which an Hadoop developer used to work with, okay, or analyze, <clears throat> or analyze this, uh, just take it out, uh, or resume which, uh, a sample resume of a Hadoop developer and try to analyze the resume, okay. The second thing, <clears throat> always have a clear understanding about the location see this is this seems to be very weird but <clears throat> without understanding the clear uh, view and the climate climatic conditions of a location see suppose recently we had a floods in Florida and everything right okay if there is a requirement uh, in Florida and if you if you are not aware there is a flood in Florida and you keep on calling uh, Keep on calling to a guy who is in uh, residing in Florida that would be pathetic So always have a little bit knowledge about the location which you are working for and always keep uh, Keep in mind the timings of the time zones. Okay, don't try to call a people as soon as you uh, are up to the uh, you're you're into the office um, to a Californian guy because that would be a different time and uh, you will get all other stuff from the candidate okay always try to remember the time zones okay don't neglect the time zones and your locations and the job descriptions and see and uh, go and ask your team lead whether this um, Position will have any benefits uh, to be provided from the client's end. Always have a clear view of client's perspective and the client's environment. See, suppose if a candidate asks you, can you please give me a brief on your client's uh, uh, environment where um, what is exact, uh, what is their headquarters, who, what are the services they have been providing on, wh what is the industry they are into. See, as a recruiter, if you don't know these kind of things, that would be going to be a gone case. So always, always have a, a little bit, understand the job description and everything, right? The second part is analyzing. After researching, the most key thing the recruiter needs to do is that to frame a Boolean string, Boolean search. See. After researching about the job description, you will get to know uh, a few things about the job description. Like if a uh, Hadoop developer, what are the skills? They they might be using Pig, uh, Scoop, Hive, Impala, and everything, right? If you don't know, even you will you will get to know something if you research. So try to frame a Boolean search, which is related to these things always always boolean search is all about synonyms and probabilities which means i'm not getting into mathematics even so probability means the number of ways which you can uh, portray this uh, boolean search to get your results and synonyms the similar meanings of the words 
or even uh, the similar not the similar the similar technology which they have worked see hadoop and big data comes under same thing see these kind of things you need to be understand as a recruiter these kind of uh, skills a recruiter should have you should not be a techy guy to do a programming or anything no one will ask you to do a programming so but you need to have these kind of skills to become successful in your recruitment uh, industry and the last and the foremost thing is that finalizing if you are done everything and always try to make two sets of boolean searches one is which is very broaden the uh, broader search and one is a narrow search always keep your narrow search for um, to making a call always um, um, make this broaden search to to do an email merge to the candidate or a bulk emails to the candidates so the last thing is that finalizing as you are get ready with this all these things take a notepad and write it down on the notepad everything which you have observed researched and everything just put it before you before calling to a candidate that's it this is all the magic happens you will not forget anything while on the call or anything just make sure please try to follow these things research analyze and finalize i hope everyone will uh, understand these things and will implement these things in their day to day life happy recruiting thank you so much arun kumar beti bye bye